Well, good morning to you guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be targeting redfish and flounder. And you know what? It's uh, it's it's been a while since I caught a flounder. Anyhow, I'm at this spot that I haven't been to for quite a long time, to be frank. So today's going to be a little bit more of exploring. See if we can hook up with some redfish, flounder. That's the plan. Uh, take our time, really explore this place because I honestly forgot about this place. So it's been a while. Yeah. So. Let's see if we can catch some fish today and give you guys a good video to watch. Hopefully. Kind of almost near our spot. What I'm going to do is just going to kind of blind cast this grass line right here. I don't expect to catch anything, but it's about two and a half feet, two feet deep. Perhaps maybe there's some flounder or maybe a couple small reds kind of lurking around. So get the blood pumping, even though I am kind of winded from pedaling. <laughs> Let's see if we can get lucky, man. There we go. Oh, that's something. That's small fish. I think it's a small red. See, I knew there'd be something kind of looking around. Oh, dang, he's a nice little puller. Small little red, got some spice in him, despite being a little bit chilly. I'll take it. <laughs> he's what you call a Louisiana slot. That's for sure. Check it out, first fish today. Just blind casting the shoreline to my designated spot and this guy smoked in the bio bay beautiful redfish yeah for sure he's a louisiana spot uh slot redfish this guy's about 18 inches easily we're gonna let him go give me my lure back look at that on the smelt bio bait you guys need to grab some of your own thank you my man that current is moving There we go, see? I told you you'll get a bite, something. Oh, that was a fish? Dang, I missed him. That was a nice puller. I'm getting a bit of a small guy. Seems large because of the water current. Uh-oh, there's a wake right there. What kind of wake that is. Nice little wake. Oh, it's a the sheep's head. Nice size sheep's head. Oh my god, look at that redfish right here. I just spooked him. It was a nice size red. That was a nice size red. Dang. God, that was a nice red. Oh well. That was a big red. You know what, let's just stand up and see if we can side cast. Because we can see right through the waters. doesn't get clearer than this here in Galveston about two feet of visibility which is really really nice and how I was able to see that big redfish while just sitting down that's a testament of how nice the water is right now oh there he is right there there he is there's a red right there I literally There we go, got him. See, I knew it. Oh, that's a nice red. That's a nice red. <laughs> Listen to that drag on this Calcutta BFS. <laughs> I saw, I knew I saw, uh, uh, Nick, come on, talk. I know I saw um, or heard a blow up, kind of tossed to that general area, and then I finally see him close to the boat. He's heading away. That's a good red. Oh, yes. Take him. 
Yes, that's a good redfish. 25 and a quarter inch. Mid slot range, mid to upper slot. Seven pounds, a little bit above seven pounds per boga. That's a good redfish. Very respectable. Check it out, gents. First sight casted redfish for today. Beautiful, beautiful, nice mid slaughter. See if we can catch some more, but yeah, that bio baits came through with that grub. Can I have my lure back, please? <laughs> Dang, he's a nice big fella. Look at that. On the bio bait grub with the Bugs Flats Bug uh, 3 16th ounce lure with that rabbit tail. Perfect, perfect lure to sight cast this beautiful brute right here. Yes, see, I knew it was a trout. It is a trout, it is a trout. It's a nice size trout. Yes. It's a keeper trout for sure. Yeah, I'll take them. See, I knew that's trout. It's gotta be trout with this deep water. Just as I expected, guys. Nice trout. He blew, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's a nice keeper here. Probably about 16 and a half inches. There you go, buddy. What's up, man? Any luck? Nothing. Oh my God. Yeah, that's me. Okay, I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I recognize that name. What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, absolutely. You've been. Uh, how long you been out here? Okay, that's cool. So, wait, you're a patron though. Yeah. Danny, right? Yeah, Danny. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's up, Danny? It's good to see you, man. I got this because of you. <laughs> awesome dude that's awesome bro but there's a lot of trout right in the entrance if you want to go like right it drops like from 15 feet to 7 feet yeah. i caught like three or four trout already there really? yeah there's trout up, up in there you trying to get flounder i see you got a tandem yeah i got a tandem going right now but, okay uh, i've been trying to get anything right now <laughs> oh, okay cool man yeah that's cool man if you want to fish man i'm what i'm going to do is i'm just going to work the shoreline all the way through i know there's a marsh right over there yeah. like a small little marsh <laughs> that's awesome bro <laughs> Yeah, let, if you want, like I said, if you want to fish, if you, you do your own thing, that's cool, man. Whatever you want. Yeah, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'll see what you're doing, man. Okay, that's cool. I'll stay out of your way. Yeah, yeah, no worries, man. No worries. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's a slot. There we go. That's a slot. I think the way he's pulling he might be oh yeah i think he will be a lower end slot possibly all right let's get the net ready here beautiful beautiful fish i knew there's gotta be red fish here <laughs> Dang, that's a beautiful red fish that's what i'm talking about right here come on with it buddy oh oh <laughs> Oh my god, come on, dude. Oh, yes. Woo! He's probably going to be a mid slot red. That's a gorgeous looking red on the Bugs fishing lure, just blind casting it. Thinking they want a smaller profile bait, and look at that red fish. He is drumming hard, too. Let's see how big he is, real fast. He is 24 inches on the dot. Almost 24 and a quarter. Check it out right there. Second red of today. Beautiful redfish. I apologize about the sun behind me, but he hit that Bugs Hothead, the gotcha color. Beautiful redfish. Hey, Danny, you want a red? Yeah, come on and get him. You got a stringer? Or you got your bag? You gonna make some uh, Korean food with it? I'm pretty sure your wife will make a nice dish with it. <laughs> yeah, she's got plans, I'm sure. She, every time I bring a fish home, she's got something nice. planned for her. Thank you. All right. Oh, man, that's good, a beauty. Good deal, man. Ooh, we got pink. That's, uh, that's a lot of meat. It is. Thank you so with much. With some kimchi, you'd be good. My wife would be thanking you, man. <laughs> no, no big deal, man. No I'm, I'm, I'm glad I ran into you, man. That's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome, man. To say today was a hard day, that's an understatement, man. I, I grinded it out. I only saw two or three reds. I can't remember. Two or three reds 
and a handful of sheep's head. It was tough. The wind's conditions were perfect in the morning, but it just really picked up during the late afternoon, and that's when I got blown around. And I didn't even show you, when I was coming back to the launch and I was crossing that bay, the swells were just breaking right over my kayak. I am drenched wet. It was a workout to say the least. But anyways, we'll get them next time. I did I did accomplish half the goal, which was to catch redfish, flounder. Well, yeah, let, let's not talk about it. But uh, if you're at it, why don't you hit that like button if you like this video. And while you're at that, why don't you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification too while you're at that. And let you guys know when I do drop a video. And thank you so much, guys. I love y'all very, very much. And let me know if y'all want to see any other type of fishing. Comment below. And I'll, be, I'll do my best to accommodate you guys. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're looking for a more in-depth experience with RX Angler, I encourage you guys to check out the Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash rxangler. We've actually created a really cool fishing community within the Patreon page, and I'm there on a daily basis communicating back and forth with my patrons. And there are a lot of benefits to become a patron, and hopefully one day, I'll see you there.